Okay, this is the last in the series. And I am so happy that you're still with me. I won't call you a nerd, I promise. But this is a business skill. If you know how to do this, if you understand this, you will help production move along faster. It's not just about pretty clothes. It's about pretty clothes that fit and pretty clothes that make your customer happy. So let's get into the rest of the grading point by point. I am going to speed this up. This video took about two and a half hours straight to just do it. Let's go. So now I've got all my grading points and I am ready. My measurements are done. My notches are done. Everything's done. My sizes are matched with my avatars. My grade rule is set up ready to grade point by point. So let's talk about it. I have my grade rule on the side. You guys saw that a little earlier. So let's do it point by point. What you will discover and the point of grading is to figure out how your pattern grows and if it grows nice and smooth and in the correct amount of uh, measurements from size to size. So this is what grading is all about. Like, how does it look? How does it feel? What is the message that you get from grading these points? I prefer to grade without order grading. I'm going to do a separate part two to the series about all the automated things in Cloak 3D that you can do. But for right now, we're talking manual grading and understanding the grade rule and how to grade a point. So right now, I'm, I made my mistake here and you're going to see that play out in a little while. Um, because my size four is at the bottom, some of it uh, automatically grades the size four out to a different size and not in to the size four grading. So I end up having to do a few uh, manipul manipulations uh, because that size is down there. I'm sure at some point I would have figured out how to move it up, but I didn't for this video. So if you know, come across that again, I will make sure that I point out how to move it um, in the next video. Well, this is the last of the series. So for the automatic stuff, I might just go ahead and answer some questions and um, go ahead and show you guys how to grade. So now I'm going to zoom in a little close so you can kind of see uh, what I am actually doing by keying in these numbers. So if you see the green dot, each grade point has a color. So each size, I want to say, has a grade point color. So right now my green is going in a negative quarter of an inch while the rest of my sizes are going positive quarter of an inch on the X axis. And then um, some of these movements you may need to also make on a Y axis. So I'm gonna go ahead and change um, <clears throat> some of these views just so that you can see. I wanna get rid of these numbers so you can see the point. So I'm gonna go ahead and figure out which one of these <laughs> gets rid of the numbers. And once I do, you'll see a little bit closer uh, how the points are moving side to side and up and down. Find it, girl. Find it. I think this was a glitch because it's turned off and then I had to actually turn it on and then turn it off again. The numbers. Yeah. And then turn it off. What about the? No. So it's telling me what the grade rule is. Uh, point by point. But I think I didn't like that. And I'm just seeing how it is. So I'm going to go ahead and just zoom in when I see that little cluster of numbers and I'm going to go ahead and make sure that my size 4 is going negative while the other sizes are positive. Because I have the size 4 on uh, grading on the X and Y axis, then I could uh, I need to grade all the other sizes on the Y axis. Right now my Y axis is 0, but it looks like it needs to uh, follow um, what the size four is doing. So I'm going to go ahead and make sure that those points are going up and down and in and out uh, in a symmetrical way. I'm just going to stick with this uh, video just so that I can show you guys uh, how long it takes. And this is just one point. 
So I think it takes me a little while to get through this one point and then the rest of the video is going to be really fast because uh, grading takes a lot of time. And if you're doing manual grading and you're not following a grade rule, hopefully you guys are building garments that have tech packs that have uh, grade rules and that have all kinds of stuff in them. And then you can go ahead and just type in the grade rule without having to do math on the side and figure out which uh, axis you need to grade on, X or Y. And uh, you can go ahead and do it without having to use your memory. Anyway, this is what I'm doing for you guys. Just to show you that now because I have that uh, grade going down, there's no other point going negative uh, down, only the size four. So I need to go ahead and either change the size four to be zero, or I can go ahead and add Y uh, changes to the other size. So I think I decided to go zero and have that all come down, but that wasn't quite what happened there. So this is my grade point for this point. That is how I want it to grade. Now with these points, you can actually copy and paste the grading. So I'm copying and pasting the top point to the bottom point and to the all the points on the side seam so that they all grade evenly. So you can copy your grade point, but your grade point is not always going to be the same. It might be the same on the X and then you have to change the Y or it might be the same on the Y and then you have to change the X. Since I need to grade the height for this garment, I need to go ahead and split up the height between the top and the bottom portion. And this has nothing to do with the skirt part. This is only for the top portion. So I need to go ahead and grade that for all of the points going up and down. So that's what I work on on the next piece. So as you can see, I'm um, spinning this up a little bit. Um, I have to be careful to make sure that I grade my uh, points evenly. Sometimes you'll put in a point and it will round it out to you um, to the eighth of an inch or to less than the eighth of an inch. I think it's only showing uh, two decimal points. So as I'm putting in three decimal points, it looks like it's rounding up, but it's actually grading it proportionally. So now I'm gonna go ahead and apply the height grading um, to my shoulder seam at the armhole. So my armhole is graded at the uh, underbust area, the chest area, and it's also graded at the shoulder. So my armhole is growing uh, in two ways, in two directions. My waist width and my chest is only growing one direction, but the body length at the bottom, the center front and the, uh, the waist position is also grading up and down. These are grading points. This is why sometimes it's helpful to have a diagram of how, which is what I did earlier, of how things move and the movement things need to make so that when you're doing manual grading, you kind of can see where things need to go. I start to play around. Like I said, I speed this up. So I need to figure out why my neckline is looking a little cray cray right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, grade that center point the same as the um, the outer shoulder point. So I'm just going to go ahead and sometimes when you're grading left to right, you need to be careful to note your plus and minus grade. Like right now, this grade is on a plus on both points. This grade is on a plus on both points, but I need my grade up to also be plus but not for the size four. For the size four, we need to be negative. So this is all grading from your base pattern. As you can see, the size six is selected. So these are the movements uh, that are away from the size six. So now I notice that because my grade points are uh, symmetrical, it means that my neckline shape is off. So my neckline is too has too much of a dip pivot, I wanna say at the, uh, center 
that it makes the grading look a little weird. So I'm gonna do adjustments to the grading to kind of figure out if I can get rid of that point and I notice that I can't. So that means I need to go ahead and edit the point in order for the grading to uh, be successful. When you are grading with the offset, it will offset evenly. So right now this is telling me the red letters are telling me that, yeah, your grading's jacked up, it's not even. <laughs> you need to fix whatever's going on because it's not symmetrical. So right now um, my size four is all the way at the top. So I need to go ahead and make sure that there's no grade between size 14 and size four. So that means that I cannot use the offset method, that I need to just use the distance method so that I can plug in the negative number that I need for the size four that is grading off of the base six. This sounds very nerdy. I just got a nerd alert, alert from my brain and my brain said, you sound like a nerd. Anyway, so I hope you guys are enjoying this video, but I'm gonna go ahead and keep the speed up on this. And uh, you guys can see that I do eventually go ahead and add a point and change the curve between those lines in order to get a nice smooth neckline curve. Okay, the next part to this is basically gonna be getting these garments on the forms that you've modified. Um, once you figure out your grading, like look at that nice neckline. Now my grading looks nice and symmetrical. So grading is also visual. It's also something that can be judged visually because maybe I don't need a whole quarter of an inch or maybe I only need an eighth of an inch or maybe I need somewhere in between to make it look symmetrical. Okay, but let's get a little bit uh, fast and move on.
Okay, if you survived that, I think I put that on uh, 5x. Uh, we are 25 minutes in, and I'm hoping to keep this under an hour, uh, possibly 35 more minutes. But as you can see, some of the grading points will not be doing what you wanted to do, and that has to do with your positive and negative. So you're going to have to use some mathematics and figure it out. And when you're all ready and graded, you can go ahead and start to look at these on your different sizes. So what do you do? You have all your sizes paired. You pull in your avatar to pair with your size. Actually, what I'm doing here is making them all the same avatar because I had some duplicates. So I'm just taking the extra step to go ahead and repair my avatars with my size and uh, that they will all be pulled from the same folder. That's all I'm doing there. But once you're there, <coughs> you have all your avatars there. What you can do is go ahead to view the new size. You want to click on, yeah, that was an hour and 30 minutes. Okay. Um, <laughs> just from start to finish. And um, you click on the avatar of the size that you want and make that your base size. And then you go ahead and redrape the size that you want. But I noticed right now that it is actually draping the size that I want, but it seems like it's so, so tight. So this is where the skill comes in in having the realization that your grade may not be enough that your grade may be too small or too big. So once you're pulling in these sizes as the base size and the base pattern, everything will change at the same time. And then you'll be able to see if the fit looks the same uh, as it did on your size that you draped the pattern on. So right now I can see that, you know, my sleeve's okay, uh, but my body measurements are very tight they're not hardly growing at all so right now this is when you go back to your graded pattern and you go back to your base size being the base size six i'm going to check every size first but i'm noticing already by now that i am definitely not getting enough on my body widths so right now i want to go ahead and increase that grading like as you can see as it grows it does not have the uh the nice effect of the all blue you got some yellow and you got some red going on here telling me that there are issues so what we're going to do is we're going to go back in time <laughs> and we're going to increase our grade so let's make this a little bit fast yeah even a size 14 is like what that is not happening uh-uh yeah tell tale tell the tale girl oh all right let's go let's check it out
Okay, so that was me uh, making a pattern bigger in a few different places. This is the work of grading, guys. It is not one, two, three, auto grade. Because <laughs> I will show you some things about the auto grade um, that make it worthwhile to know what to look for when you are grading. Where do things move? Does her waist position change from size to size? Does her hip width change from size to size? Or is it the same? Is it in the same place? Is it in this? Is the uh, style changing because of your grading? So right now I'm just looking size by size to see maybe I forgot to and I did forget to add a little bit more uh, from size 10 through size 14. I needed to increase my grading. So right now I'm just going through all of the points and I'm giving the larger sizes more of a grade than I do for the smaller sizes. So I'm pretty much balancing out, rebalancing all of the grading. All right, so we're gonna take a break and come back to that. All right, so I think I am ready to test out these sizes again. So I'm back at the size six. I moved some stuff around and I wanna go ahead and go back to my size 14. Why don't we start big? Go big or go home, right? So I'm gonna start big. I'm gonna go to the size 14 and I'm gonna see how it fits. Right now I should have went up size by size because she's giving me, uh, yeah, some draping drama. And I think when I use auto drape, it's like, yeah, no, you can't on this avatar. So um, I'm going to go ahead and change my particle distance because I realized it was too high. And I'm going to go ahead and drape my size 8. And it actually looks like it might be okay. The chest is still a little bit too small. So let's check the size 6, the size 8. And I see the chest getting a little small, but actually everything else kind of looks the same. So I think it's the chest that I have to go back and revisit. The chest doesn't seem to be growing as much. So uh, hopefully we will see me go back and make some more adjustments to the chest before I have a look at the whole size range. So I'm going to have a show of uh, each size and how you get to view all of that. So I can see here that my waist uh, is not growing enough. And that's because it's actually zero at the waist. So that's the big problem. So I didn't notice that in my grade uh, as I was doing my grading. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy and paste, I believe, and then I can copy and paste the grading from the hip up to that point and then make everything negative or let's see what it is that I do. So my chest is not grading and that's because of that zero point at the waistline. There's not enough grade to go through between the two of them. Um, so this is how you look at all of them together. 
So now you can go ahead and uh, I didn't drape my size four, so the size four is missing, but I can tell that my hip has too much of a curve on the bigger sizes. And uh, I can tell that my waist is not grading. It's grading on the bottom, but it's not grading on the top. So that's giving me some uh, fit issues on the waistline. So we can see that the waistline is not exactly smooth and uh, not as smooth as the six or the four. So that means exponentially growing up, it is <clears throat> not there. So I gotta go back and do some more adjustments, guys. You see that waist point is not even graded. Uh, so let's go back and make some adjustments. Okay, so it seems like I'm ready. I did some adjustments to the neck because I saw that the neck was growing uh, out and down too much. Actually, right now it's down too much because I changed it. So when I see the full view of all of the sizes, I will notice that and I will go back and change the grading on the neck to be more symmetrical. Like right now it's going down too much per size. Um, but look at that. My waist looks quite nice on the size 14. And I'm gonna go back and uh, look at the full size range. My size four looks great. I'm gonna go back and look at the full size range. And that's when I noticed that the neck is going down too much on the larger sizes. So I need to go back and change the grade that I have for the neck. But you can have, you can look at these different views. You can look at them uh, all at once. You can zoom in. So this, uh, is your review part you can zoom in and it will show you uh, each avatar what's going on with each size so right now I see that this is not draped properly you do have to drape each size and that's how it looks in your review so once you drape it that's how it's going to look in the review so you have to go in size by size and uh, click on each one as your base and then redrape it for how it fits for that size so I don't know if I get to the neck, but I'm pretty sure I do get to the neck and then we can show this as our final, final tutorial for grading. Guys, you have to slow it down. I am doing some of these uh, right now. This is on three, uh, three times fast, but the other ones are on five times fast. So you're going to have to take some time and look at those. Uh, I'm going to show the amount of time was like two hours and 35 minutes to this point. You may need to redrape some of these things once you, when you jump from sizes, smaller sizes to bigger sizes, it doesn't drape properly. So you have to kind of go size by size in order, in order for your drape to uh, not come off of the avatar, because uh, that's what it does. So each position kind of goes a little bit forward and a little bit back. 
and uh, you have to redrape it. This redraping is essential because whatever you drape on here is what's going to show in your review uh, review section. So you see here, I went from, <laughs> what did I go from uh, size 12 to 14 and it got messed up. I don't know how. But again, I think the neck is still showing a little bit too low. That neck drop got too, too low. So, uh, oh, I did show it. I didn't even see it myself, but I did show it. And I can go size by size and just look at them. And I think this is when I always forget the size four because it's at the bottom. So I always think like 14 is the end. But let's go back and look and see that neckline. Yeah, so these are the things that you want to uh, keep in mind when grading. So now that neckline looks like it's coming in too much and too far down. So we need to change that. And then once we do that, we will call this the grading tutorial. Now, if I want to look at the size, it looks like everything is doing the exact same thing. They all have that little um, <clears throat> uh, back uh back armhole that's like a little bit too close and it's showing out red and uh at the darts so i may need to just re-sew it and then i need to figure out uh, on the size six what to do with that back pattern um but this is it guys i don't want to keep this going on so long this is the nerdy nerdy part of uh clo 3d but it's great to have patterns that fit and this is one step closer to getting a true fit on the first try all right guys and enjoy. Happy grading. Are you still here? Well, happy 2022. And I am giving away 22 of my Substance Designer uh, procedural fabrics that I made uh, in SBSAR files, as well as the uh, texture PNGs with all of the maps. So you can go ahead and click the link in the description. And that is your gift. And thank you for watching all of the tutorials all the way through to find out uh, how to download this wonderful 22 fabrics plus three very peri colors. Thanks for watching.